Um, yeah, so the person who won the last draft uh, is, uh, I think it's like Steel Osprey. And he kind of got there with like a, like a Boros deck, like just uh, a lot of bounce creatures, just a lot of value. And, yeah. Uh, you know, so I kind of think that like the Jenki strategies do, do kind of work. Well, I mean, I don't know. I wanted to, my, my moving kind of got in the way of things. Um, oh, yeah. Like I said, uh, like I said in, in the Discord, if I had seen Faithless Looting get second picked by Methonical, right? Yeah. Then, like, I'm not in red, right? I'm not, I'm just not in red for madness stuff. Yeah. At all. You know, I would have went, like, probably Salt High. Um, there's a couple, well, I mean, I guess Tortured Existence also went first pick, so there goes the best of those outlets. But, oh, yeah, yeah, really, that kind of got hated on hard. It's kind of crazy. I don't know. I think it's a fine first pick, honestly. It's a, it's a, it's a perfect build around card. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, this is a one lander. I'm gonna send this, this one back. Okay. I, uh, I have a sketchy keep, but I'm keeping, so I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not gonna tell you what I get. Yeah, that's cool, man. Um, I'm keeping this. I just got to make a decision. This deck's going to have a lot of interesting decisions to it. Okay, um, I can imagine. Yeah. Are you also recording, by the way? I'm, I'm not uh, recording right now. Okay. I don't know how... Yeah, I, I'm just not recording right now. Okay. I think I have to... This is so weird. This is just a really weird hand. And I gotta send my favorite, probably my favorite card in this hand to the bottom because it's. <laughs> some, sometimes you gotta make uh, tough decisions. Yeah? yeah. That's gonna be one of them. You know, uh, Methodical said that he really. Uh, the two strategies he was, he was looking at, one was uh, Madness and the other was Affinity. So I think you guys may have something going there. And you know, the fact that. Uh, the fact that uh, Draft Hook tortured existence for first pick too it's like maybe you guys uh you guys are you guys are kind of all on something oh uh i'm gonna make and mention now my keyboard uh broke during the move i've been using an on-screen keyboard okay as it pertains to our match it means a whole lot of me clicking okay as opposed to being able to hit f6 oh yeah no problem yeah there's 40 minutes so uh i think that's just the free when you play in freeform, they just give you extra time, which seems very nice. Oh, yeah, the, the extra time is cool. Yeah, I like the extra time. Yeah. I think, um... Yeah, you know, we should definitely, uh... Get you in again when, uh... Uh, when, uh... When you're around, because, uh, I, I think... You know, I kind of had a lot of fun just trying to, like, navigate my way around, like, um, what everyone else was doing. I guess, like, I also just took white, blue, and black, which were kind of the colors everyone was fighting over. But uh, I, th I, I thought that was really fun, so I felt like you kind of missed uh, a lot of the a lot of intricacies there. Yeah, I mean, your, your deck looks fairly sweet. Um, I don't know, like, I have some firm opinions on Limited. Right? Like, I guess I have firm opinions on a lot of things, but <laughs> as it pertains to magic, my opinions on limited are usually more firm than they are in constructed because constructed is usually evolving. It's usually in a flux. Right. Um, and hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me just, let me just, let me just use one of my deep tracks real fast. Oh, oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I had a couple picks that I wish I could have seen the Discord react to. Like when I took Basking Root Wall, I wish I could have seen what what people thought about that. Um, Branching Bolt as well, and um, Aaron's Ephemeron, which I don't think I'm going to be. Well, I don't know. I might board into it against you. We'll see. I mean, yeah, I mean, I was I was reacting to them. I thought those cards were were sick. Yeah, I also wanted a cloud cloudkin seer. Um, I think I don't know if I remember to put that in my pick orders or not, but that was definitely one that I wanted was cloudkin can seer. Um, it's a pretty amazing limited card. 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. I um, I was uh, I took it pretty early on because I, I was I was thinking of going ninjas very early on, and I. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. That was another one of the strategies that I that I. Well, it's one of those things I couldn't do it with by submitting an entire pick order, but definitely ninjas would have been cool. Um, Ninja the Deep Hour is, is real good, seems like. Um, yeah, don't think anyone took it in either draft, right? No, no, it's, it's with me. I definitely took it. <laughs> I took oh, it okay, cool. pretty early. Cool. Uh, yeah, I took a Ghosty Flicker early, and um, then, uh, yeah, I took a Ghosty Flicker early, and then basically was just aiming towards this end of the, end of the battlefield kind of ninja strat. Oh, it's so... I got just a little bit of lag going on, too, so trying to click OK for everything. <laughs> and there's going to be some small delays here and there. Yeah, see, that's one of the ones I, I mentioned before. Like, that's just one of my firm opinions for lim limited. I don't think Ponder is especially playable, although I do think... Uh, okay, yeah, that's fair. You have Ponder and Fruitane working together. That synergy is quite nice. There's just so little synergy for Ponder in, in limited that uh, I'm not really a big fan. Even... I guess, I guess it's a bigger deal in sealed, right? Ponder is incredibly poor in sealed. I guess it's probably okay in draft. Uh, I don't know. So I think this is this format is definitely stronger than limited. Um, just or stronger than you know a normal a normal uh, draft. I think. Um, I think uh, for me, um, I had to take a lot of spell counts for Augur. Also, you know, they go well with Seeker. Also, I, I think I just really like, I just really like Hand Trips in general. Um, maybe, like, I guess the thing with, uh, well, so I think in, in Cube, the, the Hand Trips are pretty good. Um, just because there's, like, cards that are just way more high value than others. I think in Usual Limited, though, like, I think all your cards are pretty bad. So, oh, wow. It's getting crushed. So I feel like this is sort of like the critical turn for my deck right now. Like, if this is good enough, like, I should be good to go. And if this is not good enough, then, like, I'm going to get crushed, you know? Yeah. Well, we'll see. It's definitely, uh... I mean, you have seven cards in hand. So, well, you know, land drop aside. <laughs> yeah, I'm not loving my hand. Definitely have a... I definitely have a pretty powerful hand if I could just get, get to it. I mean, I believe it. I believe it. Looks like Seeker is going to maybe even swing this game, and depending on what else you have to go with it. Ooh, that's a sick one. Yeah, I've uh, I've actually been comboing off a lot with it. Um, with uh, I have one of the walls. I have um, Salvager of Secrets. Yeah, see, this is this is right where I, this is. Yeah, this is exactly what I was afraid of. Like, like I presented like what my deck does, and I it's just a matter of whether or not it's going to be good enough. And it's looking like it's not good enough, but we'll see. We'll see. I could always draw something here. Hmm. That's interesting. Um, that's definitely interesting. So, yeah. I only have one. I only have one. I wanted to get more than one. I forgot to draft Fathoms here, to be honest. Oh, that would've been a good one. Um, oh, this must be the 5-5. Five, five. It's yeah. Gath and Rick. Yeah. 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 I, mean, I, only, I only have one, so. Um, let's see, you're at 10? Yeah. Uh, I think I probably want to behave myself. All right. Well, let's see.
to look up what Gather Raider does real quick. Um, so uh, I can discard a card and flip him face up. Uh, he's going to be a 3-3. Three, three. If I get Hellbent, he's going to be a 5-5. Five, five. Right. Okay. That is kind of terrifying. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's just do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you fight over it. All right, so you played lightning axe, targeting seeker. Okay. Uh. All right. All right. That's fine. Um. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm all right with that. I mean, I don't love it. Yeah. Uh. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't love that, but it's better than you gaining life this turn. Yeah. Yeah, I would say like, yeah, your deck definitely seems like uh, you've got a lot of like, a lot of the limited limited synergies going on. Definitely kind of interesting. I, I, th I yeah, think yeah. there is a good ma madness deck out there, or I mean, your deck is actually pretty good. But yeah, well, it's not. Uh, it's not perfect. I mean, I could. Uh, there's definitely some stuff that I could. I could be doing a little bit better here. That's it's all good, you know. Ooh, okay. Hmm. So this is a spot where, well, I guess I'll just be quiet. <laughs> yeah. If I if I play this a little differently, you'd be dead. I'll leave it at that. Hmm. It probably helps. I haven't played Magic in two weeks. Oh uh, wait, when did Legacy Cube end? I haven't played Magic since Legacy Cube ended. Uh. Legacy Cube. Um, I actually have haven't played Limited in like forever. No, that's fair. So counter spell here is well, actually, maybe I should just behave myself. Maybe I shouldn't let you have as many outs. All right, we'll do it this way. I'm I'm fine for trading. I mean, I, oh, I don't, here, I don't here comes the bullshit. Here comes the bullshit. Oh, here it comes. Ooh, okay. So I'm all in. <laughs> I'm all in. That's pretty terrifying. Um, oh. That's pretty good. It makes me feel like I didn't prioritize saving the right creature with my blessing. It makes me feel like I maybe should have let the Blood Mad Vampire go, save the Gathen Raiders. Yeah, I that might have been better, especially Gathen Raiders are just a 5-5. Yeah, it's um, I can probably a mistake on my part. I can tell you I had chop deck, so it wouldn't have mattered, but uh... Is this an exclude? Uh, Are you excluding me? something as good, yeah. Oh, that's savage, man. That's super savage. Uh-huh. Uh, you got a lot of a lot of value out of that that uh, cloud fence here. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely one of the better cards in my deck. Yeah, it's just just an amazing limited card, just in general. I mean, oh, 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 oh. oh that's a uh, if there if I've ever seen writing on the wall, that is the writing on the wall right there. <laughs> Yeah, actually, top deck a rule spell, so I, I guess I'll, just, I'll tell you I have a rule spell on hand. So. Um, okay, well I'll tell you what. If I don't draw deep analysis, I'll concede. <laughs> that's that's that seems that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I think that w it would have been better to save the Gathering Raider. Which, just so you know, spoiler. 
Ooh, I drew nice. deep analysis. <laughs> hey, these are definitely two lands. So let's just see if there's anything left in the bank here. Um, yeah, okay. Let's go on to the second game here. Yeah, but um, I guess just gonna, I, I think saving Gatham Raider was better. I mean, I did top, like, I was going to... Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, I'm in agreement there. Um, I think I'm going to board maybe a couple cards here against you based off of what I saw. Yeah. I'm not convinced that Waterfront Bouncer is going to be that good against you when all <laughs> your creatures have come into play abilities. Yeah, it's probably not good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull in my Ground Assault because Guardian. Ground Assault d should kill Guardian. Uh, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, the cards that are... And awesome. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I said the cards that are kind of scary to me are the looters, so... Um, yeah, no, like, looters are amazing and limited. Yeah, major value for you, so... Um, exciting out yeah, I don't think Fiery Temper is that good against you either. It's okay. I think removal is just kind of good as tempo. I'm really not too sure what I should be siding in. Hmm. I mean, if I had a better mana base, I would bring in my Nantuku Shaman. But my mana base can't really support him realistically. I'm splashing green here. Is he is he that good? I don't have a lot of time. Nantuku, Nantuku, Nantuku Shaman? Yeah. He's, he's the one that replaces himself. Tuku Shaman. Wait. Yeah, he has to suspend one. He has to suspend one. When oh. he enters the battlefield, if you oh, control oh. no tap, draw a card. Oh, right, right. I played so much of that card in uh, Modern Masters draft. Oh, so, yeah, the the first Modern Ma Wait, yeah, the first Modern Masters draft. I played a lot of that card. The card's sweet. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm mainly here deciding if I want to side in one of my big, my big big boys have to do it up man i mean have, have some fun with it i mean I, i'm clearly not that you know what i mean like this isn't the world championship this is like i have a uh, have two six drops that um kind of just big dudes i'm gonna put a one I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go hey i'm gonna go uh, rotate my food on the stove real fast oh yeah while you're making those decisions Yeah, I so should have saved Gath and Raiders. I mean, I knew it as soon as I did it. That's okay. That's one of those things where, like, I just haven't had, I haven't had, haven't had time to play Magic in a few weeks because I've uh, been busy with the move, and uh, that was a little sloppy. Hey, look at this. This is a Mulligan. Two for two. Oh, I'm gonna keep this. I just don't have to like it. Yeah, I. Uh... How many? Uh, yeah, I'm playing. Um... Has some cantrips, so I'm I'm keeping. It's really part of why I like cantrips. I'm I'm an addict. I'll I'll admit. I I I add cantrips to everything. Oh yeah, you took all the cantrips. I like certain visions too. Some someday um, it may it may become popper playable once they get rid of some of the better options. Yeah. Yeah, right now. Some of the better options are, uh, yeah, the option, other options are a bit too good. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That would be one that, I don't know. Um, I feel like Serum Visions is better than Opt, but I might be the only one who feels that way. I think I agree, maybe? I don't know. Like, it's not by much. It's not by much. Yeah. You know? I think it's, it's not like it's on... clearly better than Opt. It's not, not like it's way better than Opt. I think it's just slightly better than Opt. Yeah, I think it depends on uh, your sorcery versus instant count. Because I, if you're too heavy on sorceries, it's definitely good to kind of have a mix. So, 
Yeah, it probably matters on the strategy as well. Like, you know, a deck like um, Blue Black Teachings, you know, Rest in Peace, um, would for Opt over Serum Visions, obviously. Yeah, Blue Black Teachings. That's, yeah, Opt for sure for that deck. So, I like, really hope I draw a land. I kept I kept a three land hand. I'm really hoping to draw a land here. Okay. Come on, one time. Do it. Let's go. Do it. Do it. That's not a land. Huh. I wonder what that is. It's still still pretty good. I don't have a might just have to card is just so obscene in this format like oh yeah yep <laughs> it's it got it's got like it has like every synergy with my deck flicker yeah yeah judge, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's super neat it's super neat um still didn't draw that land i'm i'm trying to find here which i don't know i i, I have decisions but i think that i'm gonna do not the greedy thing i'm gonna block see you know see what you got <laughs> this is okay all right well i had a I was hoping you discard something actually good there but yeah i'll be honest my other option was deep analysis okay so yeah, Which is why I'm rooting for a land, you know? Because I think I need both sides. I honestly think I need both sides of deep analysis against your deck. Your deck has so much value and so many, me so many um, ways to generate value that I really feel like I need both halves of the deep analysis. Yeah, I think that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to get dumpstered, man. There's no, I'm all into six. And then uh, I'm stuck. It's turn six, and I'm still on three. Uh, well, let's see. You might have a. Uh... Dude, I got nothing. I'm telling you, I got, I got nothing. I'm, st I'm, st I'm just stuck. It's pretty, it's pretty comical. Like, I have a smile on my face. I think it's funny, but. Oh well, I, I've a, uh, I've, I've, I've a lot of stuff, so. Really? With the six cards in your hand and you're missing land drops, you have good cards? <laughs> it's amazing. Yes, he's. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. That guy's gonna kill me. Yeah, I basically. Um, so you, I think you missed a lot of it, but basically. Um, it was kind of crazy because uh, I, I took Pestilence first pick because there's like three blue drafters and I thought black was the only thing open. And then, like, everyone jumped ship. I guess I included you, because, like, you took deep analysis, but then you weren't actually going for a, uh, like, you weren't going for a lot of the traditionally, um, traditionally blue cards. Like, you left, like, you know, you'd leave, I expected you to leave all, like, the Seagate oracles and stuff like that open. So I really just kind of, uh, found a hole, I think, where I could just, like, um, take a lot of the good cards. Yeah, I finally have a, something I can play. But uh, we'll have to do this again sometime. And uh, <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> um, yeah, the trips that's, are that's... good. Are good I think. Yeah. All right. Hold on one second. I got I got one more play. I'm gonna wait till your upkeep on it. All right. The rest of my hand I can't play. The, <laughs> I mean, I, how would you have um, fared against a turn four thundering Tanadon? Uh, well, I had murder. Um, oh, so just fine. You would have been just fine against it. Out. Yeah, and I also actually have soldier secrets at the moment. So I. All right. Well, I just gave you nine power, so like, uh, kill me. Unfortunately, my deck isn't very good at that. Well, not with that attitude. <laughs> but uh, dude, I, I you know I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna take cantrips first pick again. Oh, okay. This is this is good. 
I'm gonna keep, uh, you know, I'm gonna take Cantrip's first pick next time. You know, maybe maybe not first pick, but I was really hoping that there wouldn't be a blue drafter, so I could take Preordain Ponder. But, yeah, yeah. Well, again, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I I'm not a fan of Ponder, but Preordain is amazing in, in every format ever. Yeah, yeah. I I might pick. Well, okay. So like, I think we can both agree that like cards like Pestilence, cards like Mole Drifter are actual first pick worthy. Um, yeah. After there, it's a little blurry, right? I think Ephemerate is also there. Oh, fair. yeah. Fair. Ephemerate is absolutely up there. Yeah, fair. So I think after that, it gets a lot, like, super open, I think. Um, so I, I know a lot of people are contesting Prophetic Prism, but that's kind of like a flex card. I mean, it's not a very it's not a very powerful card on its own. Well, I like I like I like prophetic prism, especially an aggressive prophetic prism, because it really allows you to draft um, three, four colors, right? Yeah. Whereas uh, there's, you know, it'd be different if there weren't specific rules for the rotisserie draft with astrolabe. Uh, astrolabe has has been drafted every single time, so I think it's right, but you have to take snowlands, right? You also have to draft snowlands with it. Yeah, yeah, and fetches, and fetches, yeah. Yeah, so it's not first pickable because of that, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that's right. If you could just, you know, choose to play Snowlands, then I think Astrolabe would also be in the same tier of first pickable oh, as... Yeah, it'd be so good. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I kinda like but it. because it's not, because it's not, Prism gets very good. I kind of like how Astrolabe is right now, to be honest, because uh, it's you know it's been taken every time and it's been decent, but it's not like you know it's not it, it requires a commitment, which is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, basically, I think after like a Fem, Mold Drifter, Pestilence, it opens up a lot. Um, after that, like most of the cards that you take, would, a lot of them are just kind of flexible cards. Like you take Lightning Bolt. Um, sure. Sure. I think Deep Analysis is a good first pick because I think that card is so strong in, uh, in Limited. I, I feel like Compulsive Research might be slightly stronger in Limited in a vacuum. Now, I don't know if that's necessarily true with Rotisserie Draft, right? And, and the reason why I feel that way is because Compulsive Research is something that I still first pick in Vintage not out of not out of every pack, mind you, but yeah, there's yeah. plenty of packs where I just take compulsive research. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, um, that's compulsive research. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've done that before. I've actually kind of moved away. Um, I used to do that a lot. Since at some point, uh, so I, I've also drafted a lot, a lot of Legacy Cube in the past, and um, at some point I kind of went started shifting more towards a, uh, um, like. Uh, more towards the strategy of drafting two for ones that affect the board, uh, rather than just raw card advantage. So I kind of moved away from compulsive research for a bit. I kind of focus at some point. I focus more on like planeswalkers and two for one creatures, because um, I didn't just want to yeah. run over. I think like things like planeswalker really require you to have board control. So um, planeswalkers are crazy good and limited. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, event, I at some point I switched from compulsive research to drafting a lot of like two for one creatures. Like one one of my favorite cards is Restoration Angel. I think that card just like does everything. Um, yeah, and I, I think it's important to no, to to note the distinction between Legacy Cube and Vintage Cube because Vintage Cube is really about being over the top, right? Oh yeah, yeah. With your with your strategy and Compulsive Research, um, not only enables that a little a little uh, you know it enables it quite well, but it also has the advantage of helping you should you have Mulligan. Which can also matter, you know, for uh, for vintage cube because it really comes down to card advantage and coming over the top and and having your big bombs or having your answers to big bombs. Where I feel like there's a lot more combat that happens in legacy cube. So I think that your analysis is, is spot on. I, re I really do for 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 legacy cube. Uh, Restoration angel would would probably be a lovely a lovely card for that format. Whereas it's close to unplayable in vintage cube. Sure, maybe. I, it's definitely better in Legacy Cube, and I definitely would say I have more experience in Legacy Cube, but I 
I yeah. do draft a lot of uh, blue white in vintage cube. Um, <laughs> well, blue, and, blue white is uh, blue white control is amazing in vintage cube. Yeah. So and, is blue uh, white creatures. Yeah, and uh, restoration angel wouldn't be a first pick there, but if I was gonna draft a white card, I think like restoration angel would be a reason for me to go white. Uh, uh, you know what's funny is that white weenie is like secretly one of the best finish cube strategies. Yeah, I I, I, I go for that sometimes. Um, I think uh, it's always my backup. Yeah, you know it's kind of hard for me to say because I think uh, during cube season there's a lot of people who don't draft really well. So fair. You frequently just I just like basically if I just don't draft something really dumb. I frequently can just 3-0, you know, like, like anything works. So I really, it's hard for me to gauge exactly how good a lot of strategies are. And uh, I, th I think one of the keys for me for not drafting dumb is just take blue white because like you have there's so many cards. You you like oh yeah. If you if you just draft semi you know semi intelligently, you'll you'll end up with a functional deck, and there's a good chance that a functional deck just goes all the way. And yeah, I, I think white is especially strong in the cube formats because it's removal. Um, Exiles. Oh yes, yeah. Path to Exile, Le Swords Plowshares, High Picks for sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, and um, and just even the stuff like Oblivion Ring being able to hit any permanent. The white has uh, some of the best answers to Planeswalkers, um, and some of the cheapest, most efficient removal as well. And then even in Vintage Cube, like a card like Geist to Saint Trap, like a lot of decks cannot deal with that. Oh, actually, I don't like that card. <laughs> I don't like that card. Well, it's it's not good in Legacy Cube because there's actually blockers, but yeah. in Vintage Cube, a lot of people, a lot of time, people don't have blockers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I think usually when I draft, I go for like blue white, more kind of reactive control strategies, and uh, Gaslighting Trap is kind of a high variance card. I feel like, um, so I I tend to I tend to avoid it. But yeah, that's fair. I mean, it's not. It's a role player, you know what I mean? Like, it does one thing well, so if that's not what you're trying to do, then it probably has no place in your deck. You know, I mean, it definitely sounds like we should uh, draft some cube together at some point, because uh, that definitely seems like it would be interesting. Um, yeah, absolutely, man. I actually want to, if I, it, all right, so, like, I'm not planning on, like, making YouTube videos, you know what I mean? Like, um, I want I to do the podcast, um, recorded episode, episode zero earlier for the fifth time. <laughs> uh, I'm, but I'm finally happy with this one. Okay. And uh, the only thing that I, in the back of my mind, I think that I would want to do anything YouTube related is Vintage Q. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't say that's my specialty, but uh, I would definitely say Legacy Cube is kind of where, where I feel the strongest. But I'm definitely down to, yeah, that, that sounds interesting. Um, yeah, I think... Uh, well, first of all, I'm gonna just end my end this video.